Now that you have finally gotten your lyrics written for a song, the next step would be to sing it and mix it together in a video editor. Or at least audio editor. Though for the sake of this learning path, I am going to use a video creation software. Not CapCut, as I am not familiar with that software, but what I am familiar with is DaVinci Resolve. So in DaVinci Resolve, there is a tab called the Fairlight tab. Click on it and then go to the bus format. This is where you'll be able to add, remove, or duplicate buses. No, not school buses, silly. In this case, a quote-unquote bus is a vehicle, figurative of course, for audio. This page here is to create specifically formatted vehicles of audio in DaVinci for playback. But for now, let us stick to two-channel audio, better known as stereo. Let's click on OK, and then head to the Fairlight tab at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice to the right the bus outputs, as well as an input tab. The next step here is a bit weird, however, due to how DaVinci works, but trust me here and make sure that your microphone of choice is in your computing device right now. If not, exit out of DaVinci for a moment, put the input device back in for audio, and boot up DaVinci Resolve once again. Afterwards, go to the DaVinci Resolve tab, and then click on Preferences. Go to Video and Audio I.O., that being Input and Output, and go to the tab next to the Input device. Here you will notice the input devices that you can choose from. Choose the microphone in question, and click on Save. Back on the Fairlight area, go to the Input area on the audio area of your choice, and click on Input. You'll notice the tabs that say Audio Inputs and Track Input, but right now we will click on the mics that we selected earlier, click on Patch, and exit the tab. Then go to the R button. The R button is to let the software know that you are about to record. With the S button, that's to make sure that no other audio can be heard but that specific track. And the M button is just to mute a specific track in particular. Each of these buttons can be toggled on and off at any time, but let us focus on the R button and bus options. You know, those vehicle options? Right now I have bus 1 and bus 2 enabled, which means that I can hear both my microphone audio and the audio of the song in question. However, it would be pretty distracting hearing your own voice while singing. Or in general. So what you want to do is remove Bus 1 from the Bus Output section in the area you are recording with. You'll notice that the microphone audio is still detecting sounds, yet you can't hear it. You see, a bus is simply a tool to toggle on and off what can be heard and what can't be. With the microphone feedback off, you can sing in sync without any interruptions. At least from your own voice. Because, yep, my suggestion is to sing along with the song in question as best as you can. So, the last part is to hit the record button, and the track will start to record your lines in real time. To stop recording, hit the recording button again. Now, often one will make a few mistakes here and there. So when you end a recording session, you'll see the remains of the session on your timeline. 
it is preferable to move it to another part of the timeline so as to not accidentally overwrite the file. Preferably to an area where you can ignore and mute it in the meantime. Make note that a recording will start based on where that red line is in the timeline. So you won't have to start at the beginning every time you start singing. Afterwards, you can take the audio tracks you have just created, edit them together, and produce a seamless masterpiece. Or you can try singing the song in one fell perfect swoop if you are feeling extra bold. In either case, that about takes care of the process of writing for a song and singing for a song. The latter of which is on DaVinci Resolve, but is an example nonetheless. Not that you'll need to sing for this final challenge, just right. So enjoy, be safe, and have a nice day.